Hey, what's up, everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you guys need to know about this year's New Balance Gray Day, which is happening on May 12, 2023, which is actually this Friday, and it is going to be insane. They are a ton of sneakers. Since I've been following New Balance, I don't remember them dropping so many sneakers on Gray Day. They usually drop like two, three pairs here and there. But this year, guys, they're dropping a total of 11 pairs, which is insane. So if you're someone who needs to pay your bills, pay your mortgage, pay your rent, make sure you take care of that first before watching this video and digging in on Gray Day because it is going to be insane. So with that being said, let's dive right into it and let's go over every single pair that's dropping this Friday. Let's talk about what is Gray Day. Some of you guys may be asking, you might be new to New Balance. Gray Day is basically New Balance unofficial holiday to celebrate the classic gray colorway. I believe New Balance has been doing this since 2018 when they released the OG colorway of the 574, which was in the classic gray colorway. Ever since then, New Balance has been celebrating that classic colorway with different models, different shades of grays as well. And as we all know, there's no other sneaker brand that does gray sneakers better than New Balance. So with that being said, let's jump right into this list. I'm gonna be using my laptop here to give you guys information directly from the New Balance website. And what's really cool about the upcoming launches by New Balance is that they have the sneakers nicely listed here. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here where they have probably the two least favorite ones of this release on Friday. And that is these two MB numeric sneakers. They're both skating shoes, but they are signature shoes from different skaters. The first one here is the NB numeric Jamie Ford 306. It retails for $95. And as you can see here, the upper is mostly gray. That's gonna be the normal trend here with all these sneakers. You do have some hits of red here on the upper of these shoes. These also feature suede and mesh on the upper, but overall pretty clean, but really not a shoe that I'm interested in buying but if you are definitely check these out the other nb numeric sneaker is also a skateboard shoe and this is a tiago lemma signature shoe i think that's how you pronounce his name and these are going to retail for 115 dollars these right here look a little bit better than the other ones they seem to have better technology you do have a full length absorbed midsole here which i'm sure these are probably going to be a little bit more comfortable than the other nb numeric shoes all right the next one on the list is the fresh foam x more trail v3 honestly guys these are one of my favorite ones that are dropping here on May 12. I might consider copying these. I don't know yet, but these, in my opinion, look really, really cool, guys. If you like the Salehi Bambri 574s, then you gotta love these, man. These, in my opinion, look way better than the Salehi Bambri's, and you can tell these actually have some really cool technology, and in my opinion, they look very comfortable, and we keep seeing these sort of chunky midsole trail running shoes that are being used these days that are very popular in New Balance with this model, in my opinion, and this colorway looks really, really good i just really like the details on the midsole i like the tag on the tongue with the new balance branding that's in red white and blue i really like that it looks very cool the heel counter also has this really interesting design i just think these look really dope as well these are going to retail for 170 dollars which is definitely a little bit more than those other skateboarding sneakers but again you definitely have more features and more technology here as well all right so the next one on the list is another one of my favorites and i'm probably going to say that throughout this whole video because i really like most of these colorways my opinion they just look really really good but these 580s also man looks so so good i love this colorway probably my favorite 580 i've seen so far since they brought them back i just really love this colorway it looks so clean and this might be my favorite one to drop this friday in my opinion i know that might not be the popular opinion i know most people are probably going to go with the 998s or the 990 v4s these are probably it for me if i only pick one shoe this friday it's probably going to be these 580s and the retail price on these is pretty nice it's only 130 dollars you really can't beat that i like the details of this colorway as well you got some red and blue on the tongue i love this shade of gray as well super wearable i love the blue hits throughout the upper of the shoe and what really cool detail of this colorway is the oxidation look that it has throughout the upper of the shoe and also on the outsole as well the 580 has also been an icon for new balance especially in japan it's gonna have absorb it's gonna have c cap it's gonna have the roll bar for stability on the upper is gonna have a mesh underlay with the new buck leather overlays and again guys for 130 dollars you really can't beat this. Next one on the list is the 550. And I know guys, we probably feel pretty exhausted from the 550 model. I feel like New Balance has definitely oversaturated the market with the 550. But at the end of the day, taking a step back, the 550 really is a nice model guys, especially the low top. It looks really clean and I really dig this colorway as well, man. It's just, man, all these look so, so good. It's hard to just say, you know, just to pick one and call it a day. They look so, so good. And again, for $120, 
you really can't beat that either especially if you don't want to go the made in usa route and spend 200 or over 200 dollars here with these 550s this colorway once again looks really really dope and also similar to the 580 it seems like this colorway also has a pre-worn look to it or an oxidation look to it as well just to give it that pre-aged look very cool here again i really dig this colorway super nice the upper on these is actually new book not regular leather so again if you're someone out there who just has 550s with regular leather and you want to switch things up with these, you're gonna have new bug instead of leather. According to New Balance, that pre-aged look is a unique stain finish. All right, guys, next one up is the 9060, which is arguably one of the hottest new models that New Balance has dropped over the last few years. This 9060 continues its trend and is staying pretty relevant. A lot of people love the 9060 and rightfully so. The guys that worked on this model really did a good job because the 9060 is also super comfortable. And in this colorway, it's actually very interesting because most of the colorway on this is actually like this light blue. It barely has a lot of gray, which is a cool thing to do just to switch things up instead of giving you that mostly gray color. Here they gave you a mostly blue color. And again, similar to the 580 and the 550, these also have a pre-aged look or that unique stain finish. The 9060 features absorb and on the upper, you're gonna have new bug and mesh underlays. These are gonna retail for $150. All right, so here's where things get really interesting new balance has officially brought back the classic 998 og colorway in the gray color these are going to retail for 185 dollars and because these are made in usa sneaker you definitely have to expect that higher price point but if you're going to do it right this is going to be your first pair of 998 you can't go wrong with the og classic colorway on the upper you're going to have pigskin suede with the mesh underlays these feature absorb for the cushioning system all right so next one up this is probably going to be either the most popular one to release on friday or the second popular one in my opinion and this is the new balance 990 v4 which in my opinion is one of the most comfortable sneakers that I own, especially within the 99X line. One of the cool features of this colorway is this hairy gray suede throughout the upper of the shoe. I love hairy suede, it just gives it like that premium look. I also love how the midsole has some cream here as well. And then all the way to the back of the shoe on top of the heel counter, you do have a little bit of tan color there as well. I hope these come with some cream laces as well, not just with these white ones because the cream laces will look so much better on this colorway. All right, so sticking with that similar colorway of gray, navy, and also some cream as well. Here we have the New Balance 996, and these retail for $190. Similar to the V4s that we just spoke about, these also have some hairy suede on the upper, similar mesh underlays as well. The midsole also has some cream here, very cool details. These 996 also look really, really cool. Another great option to go for here. I think these are gonna sit and we're gonna be pretty easy to cop if you're someone interested in this model. The 996 does feature ink cap, but if I was gonna rank all the made in USAs that are releasing on gray day, the 996, the cushioning system is probably the least favorable one. Feels pretty flat. Feels very similar to like a 574 if you own one of those. So it's nothing really special here with this model. All right, so next one up is the New Balance 990 V6. These are gonna retail for $220. The V6 is starting to become a fan favorite. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew a lot of people that were criticizing this sneaker and now all of a sudden they love it. Some people are saying this is the best colorway they've seen so far and I can't disagree with them with that. You have a similar color scheme here with the gray and navy and also the off-white or cream hits as well. One thing that's really cool about this one is that these do come out of the box with some off-white or cream laces. So I hope the other colorways do come with cream laces as well, but these already have them, so that is a huge plus. One thing that these don't have is the hairy gray suede. These have the regular gray suede that you'll find in the gray OG colorway, which is not a bad thing. I really don't mind that at all, but it would have been interesting to have the hairy gray suede on these. But overall, I really think this shoe looks clean as well. It's also one of my favorite ones, and I really like how this color scheme looks on the V6. One of the biggest highlights of the V6 is that this is the first New Balance 990 to feature fuel cell. These also have end cap, and like I said, you're gonna have some suede overlays with the mesh underlays. And finally, guys, the one that in my opinion is gonna be the hardest one to cop this Friday. And again, I'm not sure if these are all gonna sell out, but if I was gonna pick one model that's probably gonna be the hardest one to get, especially within the popular sizes, is going to be the New Balance 998 in the similar gray and navy color scheme. The reason being is it just looks that good. It really looks badass with this mostly hairy suede, especially the little detail of the hairy suede on the tongue. I saw 
someone posts on Instagram and it just looks so, so good on this 998. The colorway, again, looks really good on this model. And if I was to pick between this one and the OG colorway that's dropping this Friday, I would go with this colorway because this one here looks really, really good. Again, you do have white laces on these. I hope they do come with another set of cream laces. That'll be really, really cool. But if I was to cop these, I will definitely make sure to grab a pair of cream laces to swap it with these white ones. Some additional information about this gray day release, guys, is that the official drop is 10 a.m., but I highly recommend you guys go on the New Balance website, maybe around 9.20 Eastern Standard Time, and start you know refreshing because usually the queue on New Balance starts at 9.30. And if you never bought hype releases from New Balance, usually these releases are terrible and the queue line is crazy. Again, I don't expect all these to sell out. There's so many shoes. There's no way all these are going to sell out. But if you're someone who is specifically looking for like a 998, for example, that might be a little bit harder. The V4 is going to be a little bit harder too. And the V6, I would probably go in that order in terms of difficulty. 998, that's the hardest one. Then the V4 and then probably the V6. Another thing to keep in mind that none of these releases on gray day you can return. I'm not sure exactly what that means in terms of like if you want to exchange it for a different size, if you can do that. I think is that you can return them for a refund. So if you're someone who was just thinking of, you know, maybe I'll grab a couple of pairs and if I don't like it, I'll just return it. It clearly says there on their website that you cannot return these items. One thing that I wish New Balance does in future grade day releases is that instead of giving us a ton of these sneakers, which I don't mind, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the different colorways. That's really dope. I wish that they would also give us an opportunity to buy some of the classic 990s or other, you know, sneakers that are made in USA, for example, or made in UK to give us an opportunity to buy these maybe on sale, maybe give us like a 10% discount, 20% discount. That would be really, really cool in my opinion or even give us a discounts on apparel like made in usa apparel whatever that'll be really cool if they also included that on gray day so that's it for me guys hopefully you found this video useful for me personally i'm definitely gonna go for the 580 that's my number one choice believe it or not i also love the fresh foam ones i would like to try those on review those for you guys and see how they look in hand and on feet as well it sucks because the 990 v6 looks amazing the v4 and the 998 and this whole even the 550 it's so hard to turn those down. Hopefully they sit and they stay in stock for a long time. Maybe I can cop them down the road. Maybe I could use a discount down the road, whatever. But man, it is so hard to turn those down. That's why I'm a little bit disappointed. There's so many sneakers dropping on this day and they are so, so good. So hey, it is what it is. I can't buy them all. There's no way I can buy them all. It's just a lot of money. But boy, New Balance definitely killed it this year on grading. So with that being said, guys, good luck and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.